So I'm talking to Jim Coe, who's an artist from New York, uh, New York State in the U.S. And um, he's a landscape painter mostly, I think. Uh, at least that's the work I've seen of his. It's wonderful, beautiful, makes you really feel like you want to go and live there. <laughs> you know, Thank you. The mountains and the views, he's very detailed and really uh, skillful. Obviously, he practiced his craft for a, for a long time. He doesn't look like he may have practiced it for a long time, but he did, for sure, <laughs> uh, because <clears throat> because of the quality of it. And 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 looking at it on on the internet is great, but it would be just even better to be right there in front of it. I'm sure. Tell me, Jim, how did you get into this kind of work, painting this way, and with your theme and your your and you know, like, how did you get started? Well, I, I was really glad you commented on, and if I can refer back to, to to your introduction, where you commented on the mystery that you saw in the landscapes, because I I began painting as a teenager when I discovered birds and bird watching, and I just become became so enamored of birds and nature. Um, and all of my artwork since then, I think, comes from that initial uh, discovery and, and wonder with nature. Sure. Uh, and I spent my excitement back then was uh, was birds, and I was really interested in becoming a bird illustrator. Oh. And that's what all my schooling was at first targeted towards becoming a bird illustrator. And I, the first half of my career was spent uh, doing identification field guide plate for bird watchers. And I wrote and illustrated a book uh, for Golden Book uh, back in the early 90s called Eastern Birds. And I put 70 years of my, of my life into doing the illustrations for that book. So that was really where I mostly self-taught all my skills of uh, drawing and observation and uh, yeah. Judging the quality of my work as you know in a self-critical way to, to kind of yeah. push my uh, push my work forward. What a wonderful start! Um, I, and, uh, yeah, that, that, so that's where I got started. I did take a break in the in the middle of that where I decided, well, I really need to know a little more about painting, and my parents were concerned about whether or not I'd be able to make a living as an illustrator. So I went to art school and got a degree in, in painting and fine art painting. And uh, that, of course, today with what I'm doing is much more relevant to anything, um, I think, that I did in terms of studying biology and, and, uh, and ornithology and illustration work. Uh, and so after, after doing illustration work for about I guess it's close to 15 years, I, I kind of burned out and had to take a break. And during that break, I went back to taking my easel out into nature and painting uh, from the landscape. 